All right, guys, let's continue our little journey, shall we? We had a few more things to go through here. I don't know how long the demo is. I don't know how fast I can speak. <laughs> I don't know how long the demo is, but we'll um, we'll jump through and have a look, shall we? Aliza is ready to let to ready to go. Let's not waste any time. Boulder. Who who's this? If we talk to someone, we're about to we have to execute him. Continue the journey. Palins will not be able to talk to this character again. Starts conversation with this character. Well, who is it? Who is it? We might have to kill you, mate. What you know. And then I smash the Josman with an anchor and... Wait, I heard something. We should check. Squeak! Ah! Well, Valenceur, scared of a rat? All right, let's get moving. Forget about it, please. Wait, that was it? <laughs> it was a rat? We might not meet that guy again. Let's heal our wounds before moving on. All right. Enhance. Increase a paladin's max health by plus one. Fully heals any paladin's health points. Or heals all paladin's plus three health points. Plus three? What about armor? Our health points are actually maxed. So we can increase our max health points by one. That's a very small upgrade, but it's something. At least you get something. Because we can't get our armor back, it looks like. Wait, only one person gets plus one health? <laughs> okay. Alright. Let's not waste any time and find out what's next. Alisa, you're so needy. Oh, look, we can actually see who it is this time. Alright, lady, be careful. We might have to... Excuse me, G'day, my lords. Looking an awful lot tired. Indeed, it's been a long day. Why don't you stop and rest a little? Got some fresh plonk and not too foul at that. Are you offering us a drink just like that? I'm a generous soul, you see. I've always shared a drink. Don't you want a taste? No, we really cannot. Why? With pleasure. This looks... This looks suspiciously bad. It is a demo, though. How hard... Oh, no. One of our one of our paladins is just knocked out for the next fight. But they get me, don't they? Because... We never know what it would be if we don't take it. If we just leave it. We don't know. What's this? Us, uh... Thing. Yeah, well... <laughs> it's funny that this guy would want the drink. You'd think he wouldn't even drink. You, uh, well, yes, with, with pleasure. Oh, we're glad to accept your offer. Gazadra, bless you. Sorry, my lords. This wine is, has a peculiar taste. Receives the poison effect. What's, what's that? Don't like it? You're a keen observer. Enough now. You did enough damage with that liquor. Well, ain't too charming, ye. You help, and you get kicked these days. You have our thanks. Now get lost. Well, I ain't too happy to skip that stuff. Me too. Come, Hale. We must stay on the road. Oh, all right. I knew it. He's poisoned. Ah, we're finally there. Where's here? After a short journey, our heroes arrive to an unknown location. Halt. Let us stray from the path to set up camp. It will be safer. The king and his son are sleeping on the bedding. The night shall be calm. How quaint it is to finally lie down. He's he's like ordering the the daytime weather. The day will be calm. How quaint to finally lie down. The road is never ending and the air is stifling. Sir Alphonse, I noticed while we were fighting. Why don't you use your relic? That horn. I prefer not to use it. My blades are quite enough to protect his majesty. I see, I think. Now is the time for question not now is the time for questions, novices. Oh. We will not have such luxury tomorrow as we must quickly depart. You didn't answer his question. Sir Alphonse, how did you become a Prince Protector. Why is the Prince accompanying us? Do you know our respective mentors well, Sir Alphonse? 
How did you become the Prince's Protector? Go to sleep. Could you enlighten us on how you became the defender of our tutor, the Prince Sir Alphonse? Well, where to begin? When Namorod, our young prince's older brother, was born, the king was ecstatic. He cared only for his child, and the one that was declared true heir to the great realm of Meodrind. When Queen Medith was pregnant again, though, the king could not care less about the news, nor the child. She finally decided to find <coughs> sorry, him a royal tutor on the sound advice of the Order of the Ancestrals. Ancestrals. I was the one chosen for such a task. My place as a mentor of the Paladin Corp may be an excellent teacher for His Majesty. Well, I don't... Have you done a great job so far? Hmm? The choice feels odd nowadays. I see. Alright. Uh, why is the prince accompanying us? It won't be so easy to carry out our quest with the kid on our here. I have to admit it surprised me too. But the king must have his reasons. As he does for bringing the re regular, um, regularly. Oh, what is this? Word? I know it. I know it. Regala. That's the word. Regala. Like regala. It's where's why is an eye in here with him? All right. So we got a sword and the scepter for some reason. With being set up or something. The king has brought the scepter with him. I did not notice. As well as Maelstrom, the sword gifted by House Tholder. I noticed he put his hand over the scepter several times, despite his secrecy. Uh, do you know our respective mentors well, Sir Alphonse? You tutored us with them, but I seldom saw you with Sir Gabriel. I regret I must admit, Hale. Your tutor was never one to strike conversation with anyone outside the Order of Ancestrals. I heard he's a wise man and never had to worry about you. What about Yohav? Do you, did you train him too? Indeed! He might be the one I spent the most time with. He assisted me in overcoming a difficult part of my life. I owed it to him to ease his arrival at the corpse. Even though I could not help him with his personal matters. I presume that Marion was your mentor? Mar Mariani? Haha! <laughs> no! She joined the corpse years after me, you see. We are not exactly the youngest. She already knew how to fight when she arrived, and could easily compete with the most gifted paladins. I have seen her shut down vicious mockeries. Mockeries? With simple glimpses of her axe. You believe me? <laughs> I must have been arduous to be the first paladin woman with more than 700 years of service to the court. 700? 700 years of service? How long do these guys live? No, especially after she lost all her legitimacy among Mother House Thundal. Enough blabblers. Paladins, you need sleep. We have a lot of distance to cover tomorrow. We shall arrive at the village Orphis by dusk. We will need to tread carefully there. The trees will not abide to cover us anymore. I will take first watch. Got darker on his eyes. Y yes, sir. Chapter complete. We'll get to level everyone up or one person. Oh, let's have a look. Okay, so she's got extra health. And her armor went back up to max. But none of their attack went up. New skills unlocked. Skill unlocked. They change a little bit? No. Okay, we get to choose skills. Utility, attack, or defense. Select a skill to unlock. Okay. Rush of blood. Target ally gains one action point. What is that? Free? How do we know what it is? Banish. After playing this skill, the card will be removed from the deck until the end of the fight. Stats that add to the damage inflicted by his attack. What? What's strength? Why's it got strength there? Strength. Stat that adds to the damage inflicted by his attack. But it's rush of blood. It's adding one action point. Um, okay. So, deals three damage in front of her, then moves back one tile. That could be pretty cool for taking less damage. 
And then you're unlocking better stuff later as well, I guess. Apply six drain. Moves one health point per drain charge from the target and restores the same amount to the cast. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let's get... Oh, it's defensive. But it's dealing six damage, so it's pretty good. Boom. That's her card. You, Mr. Tank... Rollo and the target gain two draw for the next round. Okay. Starter, reserve. We don't really know how much it costs, but I guess it's just one action point. Doesn't say free, so what you would expect. Deal six damage to the target two tiles away in the same column and pulls it closer. Why is it called... Oh, it's just banished. After playing this card, it'll be removed. It doesn't say that on the card itself. It's just... There's it down below. Okay. This skill does not consume an action point. Recovers six armor. That would be really good. Because we can't gain it back. I might grab that to start with. Even though this is pretty cool. Just playing defensive, guys. Uh, all allies gain plus one draw for the next round. That's kind of good. But we have to use action points for stuff. Gains it... Additional action in the next round. Vivacy. Okay. Uh, deals five damage to an adjacent target and placed burnt on the target cell. Looks burning to the character on the cell at the end of the round. How much damage is burn? Gains nine armor. Like these, these... Defensive cards are heaps good because I know how much we lost our armor. So if you could use this every battle to get back nine armor, it's not bad. But this is pretty good as well. Maybe we do an attack one this time. We can get the other one later. I don't know. Um, here's the village that we're going to. The small, grimy fishing village of Afura is only famous for its height. For its hake. I guess that that's the drink, isn't it? Wine. What could King Neptus possibly have to do here? Feels like the pixels have got a bit blurry here for some reason. Go this way. On your feet, paladins. We've got a lot of distance to cover to get to Orphea. Hmm. Waking up already? I couldn't sleep. I think I heard some wolves. Get up, son. The fate of our realm shall not wait. Stop your whining. <laughs> okay. Stone arch or uprooted tree. What does she say? Let's not waste time. Let's not waste time. Well. Well, I think we might be able to find something better at a stone arch than an uprooted tree. Okay. So we got a, a tree. Here. Okay. We got a, whatever it is, a path here. We can talk to someone. Why not? So what happened with that poison? Look, a group of bikers. What's bikers? Priests of the people. The bikers spread the word of the dot dot dot. To the word of the deities among the population. A biku what? Sirola. Have you truly never met any bikers? They are nomadic members of the order of this ancestrals. We should go and greet them. We're in a hurry, Hale. We must keep our journey secret. Tradition compels us to give them supplies in exchange for their prayers. Our fair Campius would like this would like this gesture, especially after taking so many lives in the last few days. Wait, how many people have you taken out? Uh, uh, maybe, maybe the bandits, or are you talking about other people, mate? Hmm. Greet a baiku. Forget about the traditions, at least today. Let's go and greet them. Let Alphonse intervene. Well, no, we'll go and greet them. He wants to. Bad things can't happen every time. We would like to offer you some supplies for your journey. May, as as in Matt, ward in the woods, bless you in this place. We shall pray for you and your fellowship. Who are your friends? Don't worry about them. Uh, let another member of the group talk. <laughs> We're a group of pilgrims. We are making our way to the Sanctuary of Rams to the east. We shall pray for you, pilgrims. 
One piece of advice, though. Do not travel there so richly dressed. Rams, the protector, values soberty. Do not hesitate to take off your shoes, too. We should take heed of your wisdom. Farewell, Baikus. Let's not tell them who we are. So what did that give us? Nothing? What? We don't need a healer, but we could gain plus one health. Let's go to the shrubbery. There's people at every step. More rats. Ah, oh, the Amber Pearl. Now, that was a ship. You should have seen how mighty she looked. Did she... What was that? A wolf? Was it not? Wait. I shall cheer. Wolf, wolf. Oh. Only a dog, I guess. We really got you, didn't he, buddy? Let us advance. Have they not added proper events? Maybe, because... We've had two that have been a bit interesting. Okay, let's carry on. A traveler with some baggage. He might be able to give us something, I guess. We'll keep talking. Friends, some travelers set up camp on the roadside. You just want to see everyone, mate. I wonder why they haul so much stuff. Let us be discreet. Let's just go greet them. Let us be discreet. Our mission is confidential, Paladins. Must I remind you? Unrose, right, buddy. All right. Wait, does that mean we just go past? <laughs> Wait, dis there's discreet, and then there's literally... Don't let them see us. Okay. We're finally there. After a short journey, our heroes arrive to Opera. I'm saying that 100% wrong. That's all right. Here it is, the fishing village of Opera. The alderman's house must be close. I can see a large one further on. That must be it. Let's get moving. It's starting to rain. I don't want to get soaked. Bogomaster's house. This cottage looks welcoming. It's a pretty shabby place. What could the king possibly have to do with such a squaddle village? It's welcoming. Okay. Some different opinions there. Oh, yes. Yes. What is it do you need? Alderman. You know how who who we escort and why we do so? Open up. Oh yes, yes, of course. Come in. I just added wood to the fire. Must be drenched with with all this rain. You have my gratitude, Master Hertzart. Be a warm welcome. Oh, your Majesty, can it can it be? The King, His Majesty, the King in my house. Don't talk so loud. Our time is limited. The sooner we can get this matter behind us, the better. Oh, yes, come. What What do you need? Is mine in the back room. Paladins, wait here. It shall not take long. My lord, I can't let you... That is an order, Paladin. I must... Ins Sire, must I remind you of your role, your oath, that to you of all Paladins? N no, my lord. There's something fishy going on. Can we even see... Is this his face or is it a mask? I kind of feel like it is maybe his face, though. Your Majesty, follow me. What is he up to? Exit the house. A warm fire. I do not like leaving the king alone. This town should not be this quiet. I was so good to gaze upon the sea, but it looked too dark. <laughs> Such different emotions from everyone. It's so funny. Just exit the house. I feel like we should stay, but I feel like this might stop an ambush. We, sh we need to watch the surroundings. You can't pick a person. We should take a look outside to secure the house. I concur, Ronald. At uh, Rollo, sorry. There is something truly odd about this hamlet. It's odd for the streets to be de devoid of people, even when our hour is dark. It would be un unwise to stray far from the king, Paladins. I do share your concern, though. You need to stay here. There's something fishy going on. I'm getting out of the house. We need to make sure there's no danger come to our king, Prince Sir. Understood, but do not tarry. Uh, those hovels are crumbling. Reminds me of home. That place looked inhabitable. How can mud smell so awful? The smell that fresh sea scent. How strange it must be to step on a boat. Do you think we're being attacked by sea? Or should we go check out the houses? 
Go check out the house. So this is interesting. Like you can choose these small fishing shacks. They're all alike. When I was just a wee kid in Essatil, uh, I lived in one just like these, not even bigger. Uh, I do not not doubt that. Not everyone is born with a silver spoon on their mouth and silk draperies, my lady. Crazy how that Hamlet gets me all teared, teary-eyed. I remember some things. Seems to be troubling you, sir. Hey, watch where you're going, bunch of seagulls. You're gonna entangle with me, Nets. Scold her. Apologize. We're not looking for trouble, guys. Apologies, my lady. Oh, yeah, yeah, better be. That better be re real helpful if my nets were ripped. Thrice I've patched my nets in a month. Don't know about tolling, don't you? Bunch of strangers. Bunch of? What bunch of strangers you've seen in these parts? Uh, well, let's tell them, right? I don't want no trouble. Tis already too much. What can ails you so much, my fair people? Just those fire hearts. Uh, what is that? What? Don't know about that? If we knew about that, we wouldn't ask. Better shut your trap, holds the door. They're real demons, those. Um, do they want protection? Or are we going to be act brave? We'll protect. This guy should be able to talk their talk. We'll protect you. No need to be afraid, old lady. If there's any drump rumpus, you better believe we'll take care of it. Oh, that's what they say, those high and mighty lords. And then they scamper up this castle and leave us in the, in the shoit. You can trust us. The Fireheart. We've seen them prowling the docks for some time now. Coming after the dark. Why do you call them like this? They got that weird necklace shining in the dark. It's weird, I tell you. That is all? What did they do to cross you and instill you with such fear? Gast! They've sent shivers down my timbers! They say those that they speak to him in the end what them. They say those that speak to him end up with an open bunch of guts spilled and feeding the fish. It was even a great law with fine silks all in orange. What what is that? It came from the Alderman's cottage, I think. I fear the worst has happened quick. Oh my gosh. I thought we were doing the right thing. Novices, here you are. Sir Alphonse, the king, where is he? The back room door is locked. The ruler, break that door down. Let me careful. What? No. What? Um, that does not look good. Bros, Byrus, Bulls, Paladins, no time to lose. Catch that assassin. He got away through the window. I'll take care of the king and the prince. Hail, Elza, through here. Lanterns. Take care of them. Lady. Careful, paladins. Well, we learned nothing going out to look and be careful, hey? We've been surrounded, though. All right. Um, who gets to move a lot? <laughs> It'd be cool if they had the little green marks, like the squares, so you know that they're free. Because I know the free one was a move. Um, so that's swap places with adjacent allies. So he's not moving, so he's good in the middle. Recover six armor. Yeah, I think I'll keep him in the middle. These guys can go on the side, so that's good. Wait, what's happening with them? They're... What was that again? Gains an additional action next round. Oh, damn. All right, what do we got? Moves to an empty cell. We might want to just take this guy out. All allies in the line of cell move on Jason. Oh, so I might have been able to move them down for free, actually. Has armor. They don't have any armor. Deals eight damage to the Jason target and places burn on their cell. That's the one, new one we got. Okay. Let's move down here and do the burn. And push an adjacent target back and deal seven damage. Swap place with an adjacent ally. Apply shaken to an adjacent target. Well, we should be able to take this guy out, can't we?
Is this reserves? Not, so we might as well just use it for six. See you later, Mr. Lantern. This is burning. Nothing else to do, really. We don't really want to move too much. Yeah, we'll just skip this. What's this do again? I don't want to move into the flames. One of them has to move down. He's got oh, wait there. I don't know they're going to throw things at us. That makes sense. Uh-oh. Feel poisoned. Um, source the target regardless of the location on the board. Actually, I could have probably not done damage with her. And then done tons this round. I inflicted with bleed. No, and inflicts bleed. Targets an adjacent character and inflicts bleed. Let's try and take this guy out. Can we move somehow free? Deal seven damage no matter where he is. Gain untouchable. Applies vulnerable. Can we swap places with someone? Swap position with an ally. So he could move up here and swap with him. Maybe we could take out this guy. Not really. Wait. Oh, the dodge. I can't really heal anyone because they're not hurt. I don't want to retreat them because that wouldn't be good either. Nine damage to adjacent target and applies bleed. Ugh. We're going to take a bit of... Whoops. I meant to... Can I... Oh, I can't undo moves. That's a bit of a pain. All right. Well... Oh, I forgot the friggin' dodge. These guys are a pain in the ass, tell you that much. I could swap with her. Probably not the best idea, because she's already lost all her armor. Make him bleed. All right, that's all I can do. She's going to get hit. Immobilize. Eight damage. Oh, God. She's going to take tons. Oh, two damage. And he's nearly dead. That's fine. Oh, can I suck the life out of him? Recovers nine, but suffers bleed. Recovers nine HP. Which could... is How much... It's a little bit hard to see how much damage you've taken. I guess I've like taken, like, nearly nothing. Okay. So nine damage is enough. Bam. Twelve damage. Boom. That was a lot of damage. Okay, you. Adjacent ally only. Okay, we could do that. What are you going to do? 8 damage. And burn on the cell. So this guy could swap with you or he could do 4 damage. This is free but I can't do it. Oh, because he's immobilized. We got him easy enough. Oh, that's right. He's got compassion, so he gets, like, healing. He kicks someone out. By Ozador's shadow! She flees towards the piers! Paladins, on the double. 
Pursuit, don't lose sight of the enemy. What the heck's going on now? During a pursuit phase, you must catch up with your opponent within, lim within a limited time. Inspect quickly the various locations presented by hovering over the cards to find your enemy's, enemy's one. Then run in its direction by clicking on the card. Oh my gosh, what? Hovering over the card to find your enemy's one. Be careful, decoys are sometimes hidden under certain cards and any mistake will cost you precious seconds. What? Okay. <laughs> well, if it's purple and yellow, it's not a complete decoy. You don't really get to see the whole card. Ken Ware, the King Slayer. Lady, you're in trouble. Preparation phase. Um, this guy's got full armor. This guy can swap with anyone. So maybe we'll do that and she can wipe because she'll probably get extra action points anyway. All right, let's do this. We have an assassin. Don't let her escape, Pelons. May Azadur's will be uh May Azadur's will be done. Your turn. Restore each adjacent character suffers blind. We could try and work this out. So Recover six. Swap places with an adjacent ally. Recovers six armor. Then we'll move up. We'll move up. He can blind her. I feel like it needs to load these of all these cards at the s while you're playing or something. Cause, yeah, I don't know. We could bring her up, or we could give her an extra action. No, it's better just to start smashing with her. And we'll move him on. Oh, no, this is action, action. Okay. Play six drain. Deals 10 damage to Jason. Bleed. I can't make her bleed, I don't think. What a crappy lot of cards, to be fair. Oh, she got tons of armor. She got a lot of armor, dudes. Got free moves. Swap places. Recover. Recover. Not gain. Recover. Okay. <coughs> Unfortunate set of cards, really. Oh, whoa. Where are you going, my lady? Uh oh. Is she going to destroy us all? The ancestors guide my blade. She ain't fooling around. We got to give it all to take her down. I'm trying. And oh, what the? You can now use ancestral sides of your skill cards. They trigger devastating effects capable of turning the tide of battle. To activate a card's ancestral face, first click on it to select it. Then click on the description of the ancestral face or press lots of buttons ancestral face after using the ancestral side of the this of a skill card it is banned for the rest of combat it does not join the discard pile and can no longer be drawn playing an ancestral face raises the ancestral influence gauge of the corresponding paladin this gauge is permanent but can be cleared at other times during the adventure okay the ancestral influence gauge has three major thresholds Reaching a new threshold grants a temporary power bonus to the Paladin. It's time to put the ground to those stand before us. So it's good using them? We're already halfway through our ancestral range. So how do I do this? Target an adjacent character and inflicts bleed times three. Bam, 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 bam. My wrath is about to drown you in blood. Sorry, that was the wrong voice. But that's all right. Triple bleed. Okay. What do you do? 
if she's got she has got armor deal 28 damage if the character has armor deals 13 otherwise applies burn ho oh, this guy's rage i can feel the power taking over me okay this guy's wow um he was eight damage to adjacent target and places burn on the cell why i don't really get the downside of this how long is it banished for it said just the combat isn't it oh you burned your own tile burn three I could just move him. What is he going to do? I'll just move this guy up. Get away from that burn. Deals 19 damage and bleed to the target no matter where it is in the field. Alright, we're going to work out about this. Ant. It's time to put the, pan the ground to those stand before us. Deals 25 more damage. The next attack it just seems to be positive things. Well, like, I know we banished the card, but we're doing so much extra damage that you can just attack later on. Is that using up her power? No, she's still got it there. Moves to an empty adjacent cell. May as just stay where he is. Actually, she should move because then she won't get attacked as much. We're all bleeding. Oh god, she's nearly dead. But she is dead. See you later. So I only gained half my health back. That girl had a relic? How? I thought only the royal family and palins were authorized to carry one. Members of the mother's house too, and some nobles from minor houses. You were right, however. The fact that a simple cutthroat like her was a simple cutthroat, she nearly killed you, mate. Using an illegal relic is strange and worrying. All the divine relics are linked to Azura's crown. The king must wear it to, wear it to feel, wait. The king must wear it to feel when an relic is used anywhere. The king left it at the palace as a precaution. We should requisition this relic and get it back to the king urgently. Why would you leave it at your place? Because isn't it the one that controls all relics? We might still be able to do something. Sir Alphonse! What happened? How does the king fare? Hmm. Apologies, paladins. But Neptune's the second, son of Eclusum, the first king, the lord protector in the great realm of Midra is dead. Um, were you able to apprehend the assassin? Yes, she died. What about the prince? With the alderman's wife, I kept him away. But his highness is inconsolable. He knows what, he knows what happened. What kind of dagger is this you are holding sir i do not know his majesty had it in his hand yet i've never witnessed such a weapon would you show it to me let me in what's happening you're in my house N no ma'am you can't oh oh fathers don't tell me wives take me my husband oh waves take me sorry <laughs> father we are sorry prince come to what have you done what have you done to my husband and the king, you paladin monsters? We did not do it. You still have the murder weapon in your hands. Divines, but there is the dagger of my husband. You stole it. This dagger is a gift, a reward for his piety. Curse ye be. Madame, you're losing your mind. Do not start imagining things. Everyone knows what you're capable of. You'll serve the answer with too much zeal. Where is she going? Probably to get help. I do not like this. Get the regalia. 
The scepter and the blade, let us flee. Unfortunately, we cannot prepare the remains of our king. We have to leave the body here. Wow. We need to leave this village. Understood, sire. Where are we going? Why is the lady so angry with us? Probably because of the petition of the right upraising a few years ago, buddy. The corpse was overzealous. Our people are still scarred by the massacre. Halt, paladins! Yeah, halt! As you have mercy. We have to leave, citizens. Let us pass. Think we'll let you go, you merry way, when you've stabbed our elderman? We just talked to you. You know us. Yeah, a good fella he was, Harrisad. He might, might be wise to flee. The people must show difference. Well, he's changed his tune so much. Uh, ask our friend for advice. I think fleeing is probably the best action. Oh, I don't know, because fleeing just makes you... I don't think you would... I don't know. I don't know the situation completely. I don't think this is the right thing. They shouldn't be showing deference. We should be explaining that the king's been murdered and we have to find the assassin. We have got a body of the assassin. Um... Well, what does Alphone says? The uh, old wisdom. Alphone, what should we do? I must protect the prince. Handle the situation as you see fit. Oh, very good, sir. Uh, okay. Well, there's, they're very angry. I'm thinking it's going to lead to a fight. <laughs> You'd think this guy would be able to settle them down. He's the fisherman. This isn't going to work. But we'll try it. Whoa, what the heck? Influence replay. In certain situations, if a paladin's astral influence gauge exceeds a certain threshold, he may lose his temper and deliver an influenced reply. Influence replies can significantly change the course of the story, all the more so if your astral influence gauge is high. When the influenced reply is avoided because of the paladin's ancestral influence gauge is low enough, the notification is displayed to indicate that the paladin has managed to keep his composure. Oh. Well, that's why. How dare you stand in the way of the paladins? Your entire village will die for your impedience. What the heck? Okay. Let's all, let us kill them, paladins. Leave none alive. Um... Well, we were set up then. Oh my gosh, we're going to take all these little peasants out. This is not going to go well. But she should probably stay there. He... These guys can take all these guys on. Okay. She's got a lot of life gone. We'll make you pay for what you did. Well, she... He's pretty angry. Um, okay. Targets bleeds. Bleed happens at the end of their turn, though, does it? And applies more bleed. But we can just take him out, which would be good. Sorry. Sorry, mate. And then you need to take this guy on, or you need to heal. He's only got one action, so we just move across here. You, what do you got? Push his adjacent target back one tile and deal six, seven damage to them. So that's pretty good. And then we do seven damage. Well, actually, they've all got to move one square, so she's got two actions. So we'll just deal seven damage to her and move one. And take no damage, but pretty mean. We got nothing on us, so that's fine. Hey! I forget they're gonna throw stuff at us. I'm like, oh, we're fine. And then they, they're throwing pitchforks, they're throwing. <laughs> they're throwing stones. Whoa! What the? You bunch of bloody butchers! Come, everyone, let's kill them! 
Uh, there's still more of them. Um... To an adjacent target. Swap place with adjacent person. Recover six armor. Um... Applies six drain. That's good. Okay, so let's... There's a lot of people. That's her done. Deals eight damage. That's enough to take... Oh, four damage is not enough. Deals five damage. Is perfect. So it's got one armor. Place shaken will just take away his action. I guess is fine. And then this guy could attack this guy. He's only got one armor. Four damage is better than three. Damn, we need... Swapping positions with the ally is not going to help. He's got one health left. That's a bit of a pain. I could swap, but then... He's going to take a brunt of damage from all these guys. Whereas this guy's got the armor. Well, I guess he's not. So maybe we do swap, actually. Because these guys can't even get to him. He's going to take one damage, but he could take damage from them, but they seem to throw stuff ev everywhere, so... All good. <clears throat> yeah, they're just throwing things freaking across the map. Bam! Oh yeah, I forgot about encouragement. They can do extra damage. Oh, do die. We're all encouraging each other. Six damage up here. Five damage. We can take that guy out. Like I can hear chickens. Uh, deals five damage to anyone on the map. We'll do that to her. Take her out. Eight damage, we'll take another one out. This guy's got six damage. There's seven damage anywhere on the board. Plays vulnerable. All allies move up one. She can move across one. I don't know. She can definitely do a lot of damage. We could swap. It's not a free action though. And then she could take some people out. What, nine damage takes him out instantly. This isn't free. This is free, though. All right, fine. Let's see how this plays out. So she does nine damage to this guy. Well, nine does exactly what we need there. This guy can do seven to anyone. She just attacks normally. And then she moves down for free. And then she does nine damage to this lady here. Then they've only got one action, so they can't really get to us. It's fine. <laughs> oh, they've all got stones to throw, hey? Yeah, maybe a bad idea from us then. Um, let's 
Six drain would be good, but we can't get to the person. I could swap with her to get her up. And then she'll she'll go up and then drain. Six damage only. We need one more. We have to do the nine damage. How much is the bleed damage? We'll take him out pretty quickly, I guess. I guess we'll just move up here. That's fine. I should have recovered the free armor. Oh, you're a poison thrower, hey? Blah, blah, blah. That'll take him out, yeah. Oh no, it'll play a vulnerable afterwards. I could have healed, maybe. I could have healed first. Not being very efficient, Adam. Now you understand the cost of standing in the way of the Palin Corps. Like, he's like, oh god. So much death. The protection of the prince is paramount, Hale. Their hate was too much. Even if time had been on our side, it would have been impossible to convince them. Adopt a share your certainty, sire. Sir? Let us get back to Glaurek Forest to safety. We need to talk to the situation is... The, we need to talk. The situation is dire. We should be safe now. Paladins, the king is dead and we are responsible for his safety. As Paladins, our honor code demands that such a failure be punished by death. What? You can't die? I'm going to die too. Of course not, young prince, but you can help us. Our duty compels us to bring the regalia to the royal palace of Fort Gyrant, so a new king can be crowned. If we were to carry out this quest and the prince was to plead for us, mayhap we'd be pardoned. We also need to learn how anyone could learn of our whereabouts. Our uh, regicide was no rookie. She was experienced and well-informed. There was a leak. If we find the source, we could have another... Uh, another defense to plead for our life before the realm. I do not want you to pay for my mistakes, Paladins, and you can still enjoy your better years. Hey, hey, you better believe they'll pay. Who goes there? It's only I. But maybe something or maybe not. Who knows? Who are you? A bard, only a simple minstrel, singer, instrumentalist, composer, dancer, even high roller, might I add. Collector and tale teller, a buffoon, and a clown to boot. And sometimes I adorn a fortune teller's shawl. Leave now, or my sword will incur thirst. Incur thirst? Oh, forever lashing, harrowing, heart at rendering, Aliza. How do you know my name? There isn't the question, sweet paladin. A better one is this. How's it on the, thy belt? The dagger? The one we found aside our, our king's lifeless remains? Not any dagger, Paladin. This one here could be very surely destroyed and evil to this world. This world. Shattering those objects of power you keep in, in your heart. They can destroy artifacts. A lack of power can often be a source of woe. Your poor souls already understand that better than anyone. Are you insisting you could vanquish relics? How? But I hope you make a wise usage of it. Whatever your decision may be, how pleased a spectacle we shall see. Wait, how? He vanished. Destroying relics? The very idea feels heretical. The divine's relics are sacred artifacts. Hmm. So you want to try it on that murderer's relic? Doesn't look all that powerful, methinks. Hmm. That bard's words are intriguing, I must admit. But that would be sacrilege. It would bring down upon us the wrath of Azertor. Your fears are legitimate, Hale. However, I wonder if that dagger had anything to do with the king's coming to Orpheu. If it can destroy relics, then it's likely that he has come here for it. Let's make sure of that. New relics. Scorpion. 
Destroy. I don't have an option. We're going to destroy Scorpion. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, that reset all of our ancestral rage. Um, Are these relics making us be evil? You've destroyed a relic, clearing the ancestral influence gauge of all your paladins. But the destruction of this relic has unleashed an abomination that you must now face, and it looks tough. Be careful, because when you fill the ancestral gauge, it's to maximum, your paladins fall under the ancestral hold. Your paladin's ancestral influence can never fall below their ancestral hold level. However, you will be given a few opportunities to lower this value over the course of the adventure. Your central paladins can never fall below their ancestral hold level. Oh, okay. So we lose it all, but we gotta friggin' use it all to kill this guy. Well, let's swap these through. And we'll deal with this. Hold the door! Did you see what came out of the relic? It's we, Mar Mari, Azra, protect us. We should not have trusted that bard. 12 attack? Are you for serious? I don't even know if it's gonna attack me. Let's see if I can make it attack him only and then we can use that ability. Um, all allies on her line and herself move on adjacent line. So it's going to move these two up for free. Not free, but... Okay. Interesting. Well, that's taken away my idea. Um, we can make him blind. wonder what would have done if I did a big one of those. It was 12 damage to an enemy. Poisons, no matter where the target on the board, applies poison to adjacent enemies to target. So it's only doing an extra bit of damage now. Now that I'm like doing this, I'm like, oh. how crazy do we go? Swaps their position with the ally. Hail and his ally gain dodge. Well, that's not bad. Taking zero damage. He's only got one action, 12 damage, which is less at the moment. get him bleeding he's blind he's poisoned and bleeding so he can't get any more buffs now he can't get vulnerable we can't taunt him unfortunately but we can just deal damage let's see what he does next turn hey How many things? I think he's going to do more than just one thing. 14 damage. Nice. That's fine. Yeah. We're alright. Uh, we need to make him vulnerable again. Where's that? Oh, shaken? So he can't do anything? Shaken. Pushing him back is not going to help us right now. Uh, apply 6 drain, which is not bad. You can put bleed on him. Is bleed worth it? Doesn't bleed. Oops. Oh, and attack him. <laughs> Takes three damage at the beginning of their turn. That's it. So it would have been better just to attack. Which is interesting. Put bleed on that cell. He can't do anything this turn. Target his armor, which he doesn't, but does eight damage. So. It's supposed to be eight damage. Did four. Oh, that's because of the armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Pretty good if you ask me. No gauge needed. Well, it's vulnerable. Now we need a big attack. Nine damage. Bam. Out of here, mate. Gah! What was that thing? I, I do not know. 
Oh gosh. It might be a manifestation of the power imbued in the relic. We have have we killed one of the ancestrals? Elisa, do not say such things, please. There must be an explanation. If those are ancestrals, then all of the statues are wrong. Uh, we have more matters. We have more urgent matters. The king's death shall soon be known all over the realm. We must hurry before it reaches the capital. It will plunge our realm into turmoil. Turmoil. What do you mean? The king's succession was already a very divisive question. Yes, a real abundance of problems shall come with it. Please enlighten me. I do not understand. Everything points to Naaman, uh, Naimord, heir apparent of Meridred, son, king of Nepolis II and queen, the firstborn son of the royal family being crowned. But many nobles of the real court believe him to be Queen Midith's bastard son. Many do not acknowledge his lineage. They will judge him unfit to wield the crown. And with Nam Namoroid ousted from the throne, it would fall to his highness here to be crowned new king of the great realm of Meridred. Me? K king? But I'm not ready. Your uncle Carve shall assume regency. Junior brother of Neptus II and regent of Medford uncle. Is this the yeah, Carve? We don't uh, assume regency until you're old enough. I would stake my life that he'll await such news with anticipation. Lord Carve? You mean him several times at last... I met him several times at last in Abbey. He's a man of indomitable faith and holds his post as great advisor of the order wonderfully. Only the great Moor Mo Ring's faith overshadows his. Supreme leader of the Order of the Ancestrals. Sounds like a damn mess, all these people. Keep discussing the con uh, consequences of King's ass assassination. Well, we're, 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 I don't know how safe we are here. Speak to the creature that erupted from the relic. It's dead, isn't it? Stay uh, empathetic with the team or mention the strange bard well if we can speak to the creature that erupted from the relic what kind of horror came without at that relic or speak about it maybe how could the blessing of azra all father give birth to such monstrosity i cannot wrap my head around it either hale i cannot say like i like that something else tugs at me my mind it feels my mind it feels clearer now that we have destroyed it did you feel it too? Uh, yes, I thought it was just me. I remember that from when I killed the Josmong with my anchor. I feel the same thing. The three of us. Could it be Azra approving of our actions? I hope it is. In any case, we must learn more about that subject. Okay. Mention the strange bard. Just go. To we need to talk about the masked guy first. How did he get here? How do you know about the dagger and all? A mystery, I'm afraid. Maybe another relic bear uh, bearer? Could have seen through walls or something like that. I don't know, Rolo. I'm as clueless as you are on the subject. I noticed a strange glimmer in the masked right eye. I'm pretty sure that's just another nut job spying on us. Maybe. Um. I don't know. Go to sleep. See what happens if we just go to sleep. Our journey to Fort Jalan shall be not be smooth, novice. The, oh, sorry. Our journey to Fort Jalan shall not be smooth, novices. That I can guarantee. We should rest before undertaking the journey to capital tomorrow. We need to outrun the news of the king's assassination. We the news shall have a harder time reaching Mazazon Castle now that most people in Orphean are de dead. Yeah, that's true. Okay, Sir Alizar, take the first watch. Yes, sir. Chapter complete. We level up, gain our armor back again, and get new skills. So now this is unlocked. Removes all bleed, then gains six armor for each bleed removed. Remove each bleed, then grants 15 max armor and 10 health for each bleed removed. Wow, okay. It's going to be hard to know when to use the crazy stuff or not. Immortal cannot fall under one health point until the start of the next turn. Hmm. We'll go up this way. So we can kind of use our bleed to our advantage. If we can get all that going. Um, gain focus. 
Cancels the effect of Shaken. Place focus until the end of the fight. Wow. Maybe we'll go up this way now. Deal six damage to the target two tiles away and draws them closer. Be cool. And you deals 10 damage to the net character on the target adjacent tile at the start of the next round. Ends the turn immediately. Okay. Gain nine armor. I wanted to get this. It's cool that we can see that underscore thing now. All right, we might leave it here though. It's been a long episode, and I might leave it here just for the demo. Um, but these these companies make big demos now. I'm guessing like I'll get a comment saying you were nearly there, but um, which, yeah, that's the most of the case. But we've got lots of stuff to to um cover, so we'll leave it here, guys. It looks pretty cool. I really like what they're going on, what they're doing here. Some really cool different game mechanics that make you think and good decision making and then the story seems pretty uh cool as well with all these i uh, do you destroy the relics do you not if you destroy them all are you gonna like lose power or something or but then you're purifying the world it'd be interesting to see how much you can influence the game's ending so um yeah pretty cool uh so yeah just like the video if you like what you see and if you like the game help the developer and myself out uh, there's a link to the demo i don't know how long it's up for so if you want to give it a go go for it quick um and i'm sure they'll put a new demo out at some point but i think they were telling me like 10 days or something um and yeah subscribe if you want to see other games like this and potentially this in the future all right guys thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time white falcon out